Hi everybody. Not very happy. Uh, yesterday one of my videos got flagged by somebody. Somebody flagged a video of mine. <laughs> and it got taken down for inappropriate content. It was my one about movies. It's like, hello. Um, I think what upset me is that then if you get a video flagged, then it puts you in bad standing and you lose half of your rights. And it's like, hello, if it somebody doesn't like a video, just simply, you know, if by chance, which I don't know how this one can insult anyone unless they, they liked movies different than I did, uh, just email me, PM me. And I'm a very civil person. I would, I mean, I jest and I laugh a lot, but I haven't got a mean bone in my body. Um, uh, except I was getting kind of mad over the, uh, when it was Occupy America or whatever those people were doing. And they were running into the street laying down. It only upset me because I didn't want to run over one of them. That was a while ago. <laughs> but, it, you know, having the video taken down is no big deal. It's like, no. Because I knew I hadn't. And it said it was for inappropriate, goes, which goes against the community guidelines. Hold on, I gotta turn my, my um, alarm off. So, anyway, I appealed it, it got put back up, but I took it down. It wasn't any good anyway. <laughs> I, I just, I like doing different things, so I wanted to do it. Plus, this was an excellent year for movies. Um, and I wanted to do it in, because uh, I want to do an Oscar pick one, which would be the fun one, except that the movies I liked aren't on. <laughs> well, if I look wet, it's because I just got out of the shower. It's physical day. I have my cheat sheet. Yeah, you know, I make a long list on my legal pad. Um, the vitamins I'm taking and then anything that I I'm worried about just so that because I don't know when you see your GP for your physical mine has an agenda of stuff that she wants to do and I have to make sure that we with that we it's all inclusive that I get to do some of the stuff I want and vitamins you know like I don't know if I should be on calcium now um, my, all my friends say I'm taking too little vitamin D. Yeah, I mean, I'm confused about these vitamins this year, so I'm going to let her, you know, figure it out. But I was really, really upset over this. Um, uh, I still haven't gotten back all my rights. Because um, you lose rights if you're in bad standing. But now I'm in good standing. Uh, with the community guidelines. I don't even swear on my channel. I just edited out, you know, a word. One of my last ones or the one before that. Because I had said one of those four-letter words. Like the worst four-letter word. Uh, I don't want to put age-appropriate on my uh, videos unless it would be something that I think is age-appropriate because I talk about it. God, I feel like I'm like going to do a newscast because I mean the Zika uh, virus, bummer, already five confirmed. Um, I think it's five, could have been four. Oh, and Donald Trump. I, thanks, but no thanks. I'm not going to the debate. <laughs> I don't know. Donald is just blowing my mind. I don't know. <laughs> you know, if what he wants is a lot of people talking, well, we're all doing it. My friends and I, we're all talking about Donald. I swear. So, other than being still pretty upset over the, you know. And 
when you appeal, they only give you like, I think it's the equivalence of two lines. So you have to try to figure out what, what possibly, what maybe I did wrong. <laughs> because I re-looked at the video on my laptop. I was going, what? I didn't do anything. Except, you know, I said I wasn't that crazy about Revenant. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's a scary movie. I mean, it's it's a true scare me boo movie. Um, uh, I mean, it's like, because, oh, I don't know. Just, it upset me really bad, you guys. I mean, I made a video yesterday to put up, and, you know, I never put anything up without thinking on it. And it, I was very upset over it. I mean, I, well, see, the thing is, is that being, when I say I'm upset, I wasn't mad about it. I wasn't mad about it. I was upset that for maybe some reason I had offended somebody in one of my statements. Um, and, and, and that would bother me. That would break my heart. Um. So for future reference, please don't flag my videos. Just simply email me or PM me. And I know that th this is negotiable. If there is something in it that is inappropriate, I would be glad to take it down or edit out the part that is inappropriate. I have no problem with this. This is stuff that in the future my grandchildren may see so I don't want it to be inappropriate but I do just and I do enjoy laughing oh and thanks Colleen for telling me my house is clean <laughs> you just don't see the scummy so stove or the um oh my wood floors that need to be swept and mopped like two or three times <laughs> but I'm glad my house looks clean <laughs> thank you Colleen um, and I will be buying a bottle of that stuff, and I will show it to you, Colleen. Miss Cavalier, for those of you, Miss Cavalier 01, for those of you, which is like, not likely, everybody knows her. And if you don't know her, I will, you know, put the link, or put the link, I don't know, if I can still have the ability to make cards, who knows. I have to figure out that process now. It's like, I... I it's like, if anybody knows, like, how to come, because <laughs> you can't call them. You can send them a fax. Um, and there's really not an email address for them. It's like, YouTube is, like, not interested, or they just don't want to deal with that volume of issues or complaints, I guess. But I need all my rights back. All of them. Thank you. Well, I'm a little nervous. I always get nervous before I go. This isn't nervous. Tomorrow will be the nervous day. To go to the, um, um, dermatologist. I always get just freaky. But it is kind of freaky because, like, you know, like, you take everything off, and she looks through my hair, uh, behind my ears. I mean, it's like, she takes a magnifying glass to my whole body. I just kind of stand there going, uh, boy, my muffin top is getting really bad. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> At least I do. It's like, gosh, my skin, I should put more cream on it. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, I'm going to get, I'm going to finish the little bit of coffee I have, drink my breakfast drink, and um, get to the doctors. I'll tell you what happens. And I'll probably whine some more about the getting, you know, flagged. But, uh, I don't know that's whining. It just, it, it just, you know, it hurt my feelings. It's like, don't flag me because that creates a process that is, you know, I would take anything down before losing my good standing with YouTube. I like the ability to possibly post in the future custom thumbnails. <laughs> I mean, you lose it. I mean, it's a big list of stuff you lose if you're a bad standing. So, everybody turn off the radios. <laughs>
<laughs> don't get a copyright infringement and for God's sake, no, not get uh, inappropriate content. Because uh, it's, you know, you lose everything. Well, I'll get back to you. Well, hi. It's day two of medical. Yesterday was grueling. I swear. Um, I think from start to finish, it was like three hours. So now I'm off to the dermatologist, the one that makes me really ultra nervous. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. Well, bye. See you after the dermo. Well, I'm back from the dermatologist. Oh, well, well. I'll discuss that after, um, because I have to bring you up to date on Dr. 1 and 2. But I stopped and got some, I finally got some halos, look. Yum, halos. I bought the two of the Santa Fe style salads. I got some sweet potatoes, fries, two steaks, some hash browns, cheese, sausage, and these green chilies. I'm going to try to do this egg bake. I got some carrots to munch on. I bought um, that Jack Daniel um, pulled pork because it's so easy. I just serve it on bread now, like an open face sandwich because it's like when I buy buns, they all go bad. And then I feel like eating some um, fried potatoes with sausage and onion. That was my trip. Boy, I tell you, this going to see the dermatologist is a lot easier than having a physical. Well, I've, it took three hours. I'll tell you what she said about sunscreen. And um, let me get everything put away. And uh, try to figure out how to make... See, I saw this recipe for this egg bake. <laughs> so I'm like guessing. I have some eggs that I don't want to throw away. They're still good, but if I don't use them, they won't be. So, I need to get with that. I'll see you in a minute after I put the groceries away. I was going to show you what my friend brought me. It's, I think she got it at Costco, but it's Glen Oaks Farms. Biotic, drinkable, low-fat yogurt and peach. And I drank about half of it. And boy, has it made my stomach feel better. I need to go buy some of the probiotics to make sure my flora is corrected. I always feel like I'm like at a botanical garden when I say my flora. So, okay. I just thought I'd show you that since I was going to drink some. Yeah. Medical, let's see. The dermatologist said, yes, mineral sunscreen is bad. I mean, uh, chemical. And she gave me some samples. There's a whole line of sun care. And it's got zinc oxide, which is fine. Minerals are fine. Elements are fine. And it's ELTA, E-L-T-A, um, sun care products. They have, like, everything. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but, and can be bought off of Amazon. Um, and I think they're pretty expensive. Uh, she, she, the, her, uh, PA was telling me that, um, the, um, the face one, 20 bucks and she says it's really cool because it's got it's slightly tinted so you can run around with just that and she's going to Africa so she's taking it she joined the Peace Corps oh she's so nice so sent me with two oh it's broad spectrum 41 SPF 41 so she sent me with two samples of it for my face no. and then um, 
I don't know why she sent this to me. What, are, what do they call this? Cetaphil? Uh, moisturizing lotion. I don't know if she just put it in because I don't think it has any sunscreen in it. Let's see if... Hmm. No, just for dry skin. I think that they just gave it to me for as a cream. Let's see what it's like. This is the cream. But it doesn't say it has any sunscreen. I think it's just passed out of samples. So she said, use up or give away the cream I have. Tell my best friend not to use it. That basically you just want something that has zinc oxide in it. But she said it would not kill me. Um, but it tends to make me a little itchy. And uh, so that's it. She said no chemical use. Basically zinc, something that has zinc oxide in it. Um, but she said, hey. Use the other one up for a skin and foot lotion. She says it won't hurt. Give it away. So, I don't know. I'm going to, tomorrow, um, when I go to, get, I think, to, uh, be, tomorrow or the first, because I think um, I'll have to wait till the first to buy the. Um, so, anyway. My vitamins, um, she says I can take up to, um, she said start at 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C, go to 3, and I can go to 4. And the how you know you're taking too many is that you might get slight diarrhea and back it up a 1,000. She says, you know, that the story I have read that we are vitamin deficient and vitamin C, she said, is true. So I stay on the vitamin E. She's doubled my um, D. She has also quadrupled, let's see, 12, 24, 36. So I'm to go on three of my fish oil capsules. Um, calcium, no, off calcium. Uh, B is fine. So when I discuss my hair, She's a firm, very firm believer and uses biotin every day. She said that she was just simply one of those people, because she does have like kind of, she used to have kind of straggly hair. She just was one of those people that weren't born with a lot of hair. And after she had her two children, it like went to no hair. So she has been taking biotin for two years and I looked at her hair and her hair looks totally different um, so she said to start biotin for the hair loss she did do a thyroid test on me a vitamin D test and uh, sodium because one of the drugs I'm on pulls my sodium down and um, I get to go off one of my blood pressure medicines I am so happy because I'm now having normal to low blood pressures and so we had gone on. I got a shingle shot. Um, other than that, she said I looked like I was in good health. Um, but I mean, from start to finish, from the time I was parking the car to the time I got in the car, it was like three hours. Um, you know, because I had a full a full physical and then she sent me to the lab so you have to walk 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 across the street to the hospital to get your lab work done it's not far and then you have to wait there so you know it's like you know I, I came home I was just exhausted I was brain dead for some reason went out to drink coffee with some friends and stayed up till 2 30 so Skin Doctor says that I have made it a long enough time to make it her very comfortable that the cancer is not coming back on my face. She says she does not understand how I even got it. She says, I have beautiful skin. And I had a check from head to toe. I had a, a bump here and it's just a 
you know, like an ingrown hair. She said nothing. Um, it's no big deal. She said my skin looks beautiful. Um, I had discussed the blood bleeds with her, the bruising, because I got in a real bad fight with my nightstand. My drawer uh, got stuck kind of like sideways. The track was falling off. So I had to pull it out, and I only have about the, no, six inches on each side. And it was quite a fight. She said that um, the odds are I get them really easy because I was on large doses of steroids when I was a child. She asked me, she said, were you on large dosages of steroids? And I said, yes, because I had rheumatic fever. And she said, that's why. She says, it makes your skin very, very soft, but the byproduct is blood bleeds. But my physician said to go on the large dose of vitamin C and take rose hip. And she believes that that is, is, you know, not tried and true totally, but she thinks that it will reduce them. And yes, we are vitamin C deficient, most of us. So, I mean, I've been craving the halos. I'm just now starting back on my vitamins. Now, this is what the, it just looks like liquid yogurt. Tastes great. Tastes really good. But it's real heavy in, um, it's way more in, um, the um, probiotics. I will be going to the drugstore to buy some of the refrigerated probiotics I take because I do believe my floral, as they call, I'm t I tell you, I just laugh every time I hear that. My floral is off because of being on so many antibiotics I don't want to get end up getting a yeast infection and all sorts of stuff um the um and then I'm gonna buy some biotin because her hair looks really nice and thick so I'm sold on the biotin just from looking at her hair she was just like my friend Julie they tend to have very fine hair and not a lot of it and so it kind of looks straggly at times. And so she said, try it. You'll love it. She's totally told, sold on it. And I'm going to buy the rose hip, even though, um, excuse me, the skin doctor says it won't work. So that was it. So I, both of them went really well. I haven't heard back about the blood results. But she said that, that my vitamin D has been holding for two years, and so she thinks, you know, I'm pretty good, but she's concerned that what they see is a rapid decline in vitamin D. So she would like me to double it. it won't hurt me if, if I just double it. Don't take any more, she said, because I think vitamin D is processed through the liver. Um, you know, so I mean, so far, so good. So now I only have to go to the dentist, the eye doctor, and get a mammogram. And then medical month is over with. So that's um, different. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I was going to show you what I've been doing. Hold on. So I don't know if you guys um, have heard about it, but there are these books out now, and it's like, two lines a day or something and I'm going to get a needle one because it, it, you know it's for people who want to journal and either don't have enough time or really are not in the habit of journaling I have a journal but so anyway this was when I bought it you know you have you know the day of the week so what I've been doing is is trying it out myself by, you know, writing, ex you know, what happened or how I felt each day. And, you know, I think it's been working out pretty good. Uh, 
I think it's an excellent way to begin journaling. Um, I also documented everything the doctor told me. And I don't think I'm having any reaction to my shingles shot, so that's good. So as far as inoculations, let's see, I've had the m pneumonia shot. I've had, I had to get, because I stabbed, well, I didn't like do it on purpose, stab myself in the length with my um, thread scissors. It's one of those uh-oh moments. Uh, really one of those are you, st are you stupid moments. <laughs> so I, you know, dilly dallied around. Because I just didn't want to drive to the doctor in the middle of the night to, I mean, the emergency room to get I need it probably the guy estimated three stitches but I'd waited over 24 hours by the time I got there and he couldn't stitch it but he gave me a tetanus shot so now it's like tetanus diphtheria or in whooping cough so next year I'll get the second uh, pneumonia shot and then I'm good to go I don't think I can get any more I do not get a flu inoculation because I'm, you know, just now starting to be able to digest eggs. I had it once and I had an anaphylactic reaction to it. They didn't ask me if I was allergic to eggs. <laughs> it was a bad one. I ended up in the emergency room attached to the um, medical center. Thank God. I was just trying to get my grandmother to take it was the first swine flu and I just wanted her to take the shot and when I came to she said see I tell you they kill you so did not get a shot and so I'm real paranoid about flu shots so not getting one so I think that's it I'm going to try to do this egg bake I'm going to try to remember where I saw it but as far as I can, you know, like from the top of my head, basically it's, um, you put hash browns on the bottom, then bacon or, and I'm going to fry up some hot Jimmy Dean sausage, layer that, and then you, um, I may put the chilies on it, I don't know, because I'm going to go back and actually read it, then you beat the eggs up, pour it on top, and then put cheese on top, or cheese on it and then the eggs I don't know so I try to find out where I saw it so I can cook it and I'll show you what I'm doing so that's about it I'm probably gonna have to redo the very beginning of this two-day blog because I kind of was a little off the deep end at the beginning of my last one so I'm gonna look at it and see how bad I was off the deep end and maybe have to re-record it. <laughs> so if you see like me looking like this there and then looking here, then you'll know why. Well, I'm gonna go drink the liquid yoga yogurt. I prefer the pills. And yes, Colleen, I will, you know, show you the pills when I buy them. Um I'm telling you, a lot of people that I know that have had problems with their digestive system have started it. They say a lot of digestive system, like IBS and stuff, is caused by a imbalance of the floral. I know, I know. I don't know enough about it to, to really make that statement, so I'm just making it as I've heard. But it looks like I'm not cooking <laughs> I just got a phone call and enough of us are well enough that we're actually going to go out and eat. Um, we haven't decided where, but so, so I guess I will talk to you in a couple days. Love you guys. Bye-bye.